adding images to your WordPress site. First thing you need to, to do is actually log in and go to your site. And once you've logged in, you come to the dashboard. To actually add any photographs, you need to go to the media tab, which is usually about the third or fourth one down from the top. You'll notice that there is a library and then add new. I'm just going to have a look at the library quickly. If we click on this, this will show all the images that are actually loaded into the website. And as you can see here, we have a list of images. Normally loads about 25 images per page and then you can actually flip through to look for them. One thing that's really useful on this is that you have a search item. So for example, if you want to search for lanterns, just type in the word and then click search media and it will actually come up with the items that you're looking for. And here we have three images. You'll also notice here it has a tab that says all. That will show every image that you've got and here again. And then you'll notice that it says something like unattached. Now this you don't need to worry about because um, basically we've got um, images that are already attached to posts. Now the reason why it says that they're unattached is because they are actually attached to your product page which is just down here so don't worry about that one right so adding a new image we can either go from media to add new image here or if you're actually in the library itself you've got this tab here which says add new and what we do is we click add new and you come up with this interface here now there's two ways of doing this you can either click here to select files so if we just click on that and we can actually scroll through I'm going to add one picture showing to show you how to do this part I'm going to go into my Dropbox folder and find my folder and this is really important you must have resized your images previously to actually enable you to add an image and the recommended is maximum of 12 to 1500 pixels wide or long at the longest point and this helps to prevent your actual system from getting clogged up and overburdening the database so I've got an image here and all you do is you click open now what will happen is your browser will actually load it up and you notice here we've got 100% and that is how that one does it. Now your other option is actually using the drag and drop method. What I'll do is after I've used the drag and drop method I'll show you about the editing tab which is important. So what we do is we go to our folder and we go to Dropbox again and I'm going to find my pomegranate folder go to my resized image folder here and in this case I'm going to drag this one here so all you do is you just literally drag it into the system this tab here you may see the word crunching appear that means that it's actually loading the item into your database. Now you'll notice that the two images that I've added are showing up here. And at this point you can actually click edit and this will take you to an edit page. And here we have um, a copy of the image itself and the size of the file, its dimensions and things like that. Now we can actually add some information to it here. Now 
the most important thing that you must do when you add your image is to put in the alternative text. This is essential for people who are partially sighted, who don't use standard web, web browsers, for example, Braille readers and things like that, or who don't load images. They need some form of textual information. So in here I'm going to put in um, tall ceramic Right, and once you've done that, basically you just click update. And that will actually update the item on your thing. Now, I'm actually going to go back here to the library and show you how to remove an item if you've actually added the same ones again. Now, the simplest way is to either scroll to the item and click permanently delete. If you've added a whole batch by mistake, all you need to do is click here and here. You've got the word bulk actions here. You go up to this and you click delete permanently and then click apply. And that will actually remove the items from your actual list of images. And that is the end of how to add an item to your WordPress site.